I appreciate you coming all this way, Roland. I was the one who asked for your time, so it is only natural I make the journey. I wish to tell you that I finally made up my mind. And I would hear your decision if you were willing to share it with me. I've long pondered over the one thing that Norzelia needs most. I thought back on the Salt Iron War. Thirty years have passed, yet the root of our conflict remains the same. Each nation still thinks only of itself, wishing to fill its coffers even at the expense of others. But who bears the brunt of such a war? The people. Exactly so. The avarice of the ruler is an existential threat to their loyal subjects. And yet without that wealth, the people suffer just as much. They languish in poverty. This much is obvious. But there can be no winner without a loser. Remove one, and you necessarily remove the other. If we achieve equality, we achieve peace. And how do you propose we achieve... No. No, surely you don't mean... Yes. The Goddess's teachings. All can live as equals under the Goddess. An authority greater than any king. The model nation was in front of us all along, Sarah Noah. The holy state of Hyzant. I have decided that we must give the salt crystals in the Grand Norzelian Mines to Hyzant. And in so doing, you'll give them control of all Norzelia. Exactly. There will be no more squabbling over salt. Norzelia will know eternal peace at last. Unequal peace, surely. One built on the backs of a people like the Roselle, if not the Roselle themselves. I am not blind to that fact. But so few will suffer for the good of so many. Nothing in this world is perfect, Saranoa. The sacrifice of the few for the good of the many. It's the only clear answer, and one I would give every time I were asked. Submitting to the Goddess will rob you of your kingship. So be it. My crown. My pride. They are but small prices to pay for peace. You are truly prepared to throw it all away. Join me, Saranoa. Let us unite Norzelia under the Holy State. Roland, this is quite sudden. I understand. Pray, take all the time you need. I expect Frederica will want nothing to do with this plan, seeing as it forsakes her people. I am already mourning the rift this may cause between you, but I shall not be swayed. This will be my final act as Glenbrook's king. King Roland's anguish plays plainly across his face. It pains me to see him so tortured. I am not surprised. The future of our kingdom, to say nothing of the entire continent, rests upon his shoulders. Pray tell, what do you intend to do about the salt crystals? In truth, I cannot decide. Salt is too precious to be hoarded. We have a duty to share it with the people, which is... Where the difficulty lies, yes. The source makes that all too clear. Salt lies at the heart of every war in Norzelia. <sighs> Would that the boundless salted sea of Roselan legend still existed. We'd have no need of conflict if there were a source of salt for all. My love, if I may, the discovery of the salt crystals has made two things plain to me. The first is that my mother spoke true in the legend she passed on to me. And the other is that the Goddess's teachings are nothing more than a lie built to constrain your people. Just so, we are guilty of nothing. Yet the Roselle languish in the Source, where they are looked down upon and forced to work until they die. Entire generations lost, countless lives given to Hyzant's cruelty. Cruelty created to justify Hyzant's own avarice and lust for power. 
Such is the ugly lie at the heart of their teachings. One revealed by a crystal of the mineral they hold so dear. The time has come, Saranoa. The Rizal must be freed. The salt crystals have brought us to the brink of war. We can harness this unrest, incite the Rizal to rise up and rebel against their captors. I am with you. Believe me, I am. But you make it sound so... Simple. Yes, I know. But the suffering of my people is so distant for everyone else. We can no longer wait for someone to do the right thing. Help isn't coming. Why else would my own mother incite rebellion? We are alone. I swear to you, none of this feels distant to me. The Roselle live in my domain. I am betrothed to you, my dear. It couldn't feel any closer. And I thank the stars that I have you by my side. I do. In truth, that's why I think this time will be different. Why I'll be able to accomplish what my mother could not. Hmm. I agree. But the risk is immense. Suppose we succeed, what then? Aizant will not let us go quietly. Of course not. And when that time comes, you can lead the Roselle to Centralia. Just as your mother wrote about in the book she left behind. Beyond the Great Falls in the Falk's Domain at the end of the Norzelia River. The ancestral home of the Roselle. But that's... that's just a legend. We've already found one legend to be rooted in truth. Perhaps this one is as well. And if not, at least you'll be safe from harm. <laughs> I doubt Benedict will share our feelings, though. Abandoning all we've built to embark on a journey fraught with danger in search of a legend. Yet no matter how perilous the path ahead, I would happily walk it at your side. I trust you understand what a monumental effect the discovery of these salt crystals will have on Norzelia's history. Whatever course of action we choose will determine whether House Wolfort leaves a legacy in that history or is expunged from it. How would you proceed, Benedict? I would do all I could to keep it from falling into Hyzant's hands. They already control the source. With the crystals in hand, they will solidify their grip on the realm and in time dominate it. The siren song of a false equality under their goddess shall blanket the land, claiming every domain and its people. Even though they count me among the saintly seven? Even then, for that matters little when the equality they espouse is dictated by the goddess, or should I say, the hierophant. In the end, they will have the same life and death control over all Norzelia that they now hold over the Roselle. And our wounds from the battle with Esfrost have only begun to heal. Hyzant will destroy us if we wage war against them in our current state. But they stand little chance against us if we ally with Esfrost. Ally with Esfrost? Are you of sound mind, Benedict? Quite. Think about it for a moment. Esfrost wants nothing more than to loosen Hyzant's grip. They will go to war if it means control of the salt crystals. Our interests are broadly aligned, yes, but... Esfrost has been building toward precisely that purpose for some time now. You speak of the Desnel, the weapon that Cordelia mentioned. Precisely. A weapon capable of reducing the goddess's shield to rubble, leaving Hyzant's capital ripe for the taking. Without that weapon, we cannot win. You need only say the word, and I shall convince Esfrost to join our side. I appreciate your candor, Benedict, and I do not doubt you could secure Esfrost's cooperation. 
but I fear the harder fight is within our own domain. King Roland's heart will not be easily won. I bid you listen closely and calmly to what I'm about to ask. From whence this somber tone? Do you believe King Roland is fit to rule? What are you implying? Decorum is of little use when the fate of our realm is at stake, Lord Saranoa. Are you content to spend the rest of your life in servitude to another? Not another word, Benedict. Roland is more than my king. He is my friend. And you are Lord of House Wolfort, whose military prowess is known to all Norzelia. Not the guard dog of Glenbrook and Hyzant. What else are you here to do, if not to protect your house and keep its banner aloft? <sighs> but you have the potential for so much more. All Norzelia could be yours if you but desired it. Treason, if not outright regicide. These are your suggestions. Of course not. The blood in your veins and the royal family's ring are claim enough to the throne. There is no need for violence. I told you not to speak of that again. But you did not tell me to forget. The time to reckon with your lineage draws near. You must make a... I've heard enough. Leave me. Just know that I will do anything you ask of me, Lord Saranoa. I pray that you make the right choice. Not only for House Wolfort, but for yourself. Have you reached a decision, lad? Alas, no. I know not which is the righteous path. You know I'll follow you down whatever path you choose. We'll fight who we have to fight, together. And as long as it's just a single battle ahead of us, we gotta win in strategy. If we lure the enemy here, that is. What do you mean? This village has a deadly secret, lad, for times such as this. You see the aqueducts all around, don't you? They can be filled with oil just as well as water. We can lure the enemy in, trap them, and then set whole plots ablaze. How terrible. To think such a death trap lay hidden in plain sight. I only found out from Benedict the other day myself. All you need to do is hit one of the hawk statues. That'll spring a fence up around the area and set the oil alight. The fence will keep them in, and the fire will do them in. And take part of the village with it. Truly a last resort. Aye. And I understand why your father and Benedict chose to keep it from you. But I'm not telling you just for your edification. If you think it necessary, don't hesitate to use it. Thank you, Orador. I shall take your words to heart, though I pray I never need to act upon them. You are certain Hyzan's army marches for the Grand Norzelian Mines? There is no doubt. They've heard word of the Crystals. It was only a matter of time. 
We knew this. As Frost's army gathers at Twinsgate as well. War's breaking out over this thing, and we've got to be ready. How will Glenbrook respond, King Roland? There's no need to prepare for war. I have decided that we will surrender the salt crystals to the holy state of Hyzant. What? Furthermore, I hereby declare that the kingdom of Glenbrook and its people shall submit to the goddess and her teachings. There is no way to bring happiness to all Norzelia with the salt crystals. Which is why I have chosen a path that will allow the greatest number of people to live in equality and harmony. How could you? Do you not see that Hyzant's dominion over Norzelia's salt is why we are in conflict already? Is the suffering of the Rizal not proof enough that the goddess's vaunted equality is a lie? She speaks the truth, my king. Handing over the salt crystals is tantamount to giving Hyzant's goddess free reign of Norzelia. Will you so readily surrender the realm to the Hierophant? I acknowledge the abdication of my kingdom and kingship alike. A small price to pay in my eyes, in exchange for the security and prosperity of the many. And the sacrifice of the Rozelle, is that a small price to you? It is. How could you say such a thing to my face? I for one oppose. I would prefer to ally with Esfrost and strike back at Hyzant. The salt deposits within the mines give us the leverage we need to convince Gustadolf to join us. Ally with Esfrost? You dare suggest we ally with the man who murdered my father? I see no reason why we should not. You proposed abdicating the throne for the sake of the kingdom and its people. So you should have no trouble putting aside your own feelings and judging this matter dispassionately. I cannot believe my own ears. I will not have you lecture me on feelings when it is not your father he murdered. None of you can see beyond your own grievances. It's no wonder my people have suffered for generations. We're told to believe in the goddess, while our own lives are thrown away to make a few more grains of your precious salt. And now, even with proof that the goddess is a lie, you would watch us dig our own graves for your comfort. Lady Frederica, please. We shall speak of the Roselle in due time. No, I've heard that before. Your due time is never, and I will not have you cast us aside for another three decades or more. All else is in disarray. If Hyzant seizes the Salt Crystals, we forfeit the best opportunity in decades to free my people. We know the truth. We must act upon it. We must be a light in the darkness. We cannot afford to dilute our forces when the enemy marches on us as we speak. So we are a distraction to you? I am merely being rational. Liberating the Roselle would be extremely dangerous. We cannot take such a risk. Suppose we succeed. How do you propose we fend off the fury Hyzant will rain down upon us? Esfrost would pounce on us, sensing weakness at the undue burden we've taken upon ourselves. Precisely. We would be without allies and ripe for the taking. There is another way. And what, pray tell, would that be? We set out alongside the Roselle in search of Centralia. Centralia is a myth. The legends of my people are true. I care not one whit if they are. I will hear no talk of forsaking the Wolfort domain. Silence! I have heard enough to know where each of you stand. Do you all hold the courage of your own convictions? I do. Nothing I've heard here has swayed me. I feel the same. Very well. But know that a choice must be made. There can only be one way forward. Face the scales of conviction 
and prepare to make peace with the outcome. Lord Saranoa. However, Perhaps. Then... My lord. Quite impossible. We must decide. I believe I've reached a decision. Aye, lad. Here's what I think. And so...
However, I... But... Furthermore... What do you need? Well... I don't think so. What do you need? Saranoa. But... Hmm... I have decided. It is time to cast our votes. The opinions before us are many. Roland's, Frederica's, Benedict's. Which to choose? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. wrong, but... You have my vote. I have faith in you. I'm with you. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. Frederica's dream is worth realizing. We will free the Roselle from the Source. <laughs>